Hi, I'm Denver Holt of the Owl Research Institute in Charlotte, Montana. What we're going to chat about right now is the courtship flight of the short-eared owl. Like so many open country species of birds, short-eared owls have also evolved a flight display to accompany their hooting. <laughs> And so many species of owls hoot or toot or whistle to attract mates. Shorter owls hoot, but they also employ a courtship flight. So what we do during the onset of the season, the breeding season, let's say March and April or so, is we come out and we run transects and we look for males flying high up in the air doing these courtship flights. They're very difficult to film because the males can be up to a thousand feet up in the air. So what they do, they'll hoot, They'll fly along, circle, <laughs> hoot, or they'll glide. Then they'll go into a shallow dive and they'll clap their wings together. So it goes something like this. And they're very buoyant in their flight. If there is an owl species that you would say has a moth-like or the butterfly-like flight, the very light, buoyant, bouncy flight, it's the short-eared owl. So the males get up to a desired height, which you know they know and I don't, but they get up to this desired height. When they get up to the desired height, then they'll start hooting. And it's a lot of hooting. And then it's a dive and a wing clap, but they bring the wings under the trunk of the body here. And we're not sure yet if they're physically clapping them together or the velocity of the, of the dive is helping them the flutter and make this popping noise. So I'm a male and I'm going up and up and up. And I'm going up to 1,000 feet. Presumably females know this is my territory. So I get up to about 1,000 feet or so, let's say, and then I kind of stall and I'll go then I'll dive a shallow dive and I bring the wings under the trunk of the body and I go then I come back up back up and then you know the cues that the owls have I don't know them then there may be some circling and some diving and some real aerial agility as they circle and they come back down to the ground maybe there's a female on the ground and they copulate there every once in a while we'll see a female kind of get engaged in the flight part of it but most of the time it's just males up in the air and then they come down and what we do is we assume that that's the area where the nest will be then our next step is to come through here with the rope and drag through the grasses and try to find the nest